above licensing video. In this video, I'll help guide you through the activation process for your product. For this example, I'm going to be using the T1. With the introduction of version 12, the Titan 1 application no longer exists. Therefore, you'll need to launch a Titan Go application. The Titan Go application can be used for the Titan 1, the T1, and the T2. For this example, I'll be using the T1. I'm going to go ahead and open the Titan Go application. Once the application is launched, the Authenticator screen will appear. Click Start. Once the health check is completed, you'll need to confirm the time and date is correct on your machine. If the time and date is incorrect, you can amend this by clicking Change Time Slash Date. Once you're happy with the time and date, click OK. Click Continue. Click Export Token File. Select the location to save the token file to. For this example, we'll save it to the desktop. Click Browse. Locate the desktop and save the token file. Now the token file is exported successfully, the token file will need to be uploaded to the licensing server for validation. We'll need to visit avalites.com forward slash licensing and upload the token file. On this page, I'm presented with two options, login and register. If you're an existing user, you can click login. If you don't have a user account, you can register for one by clicking the register button. For this example, I'm going to log in. I'm now presented with three options. One, I'm not sure what to do. Two, I have a token file to upload. Or three, enter a computer key for a 14 day temporary license. For this example, I'm going to select the second option. Now I'm presented with the choose file option. I'll need to click choose file and locate the exported token file, which I've saved to the desktop. Now that I've located the token file, I'm going to click open. You'll notice the choose file box displays the token name, which means it's been recognized by the website. I'm now going to go ahead and click submit. A full license will be granted to all Titan 1 and T1 users. If you have not been granted your license, this means the licensing team is reviewing your application. I'm now going to download the license file and import this into the software. I can now reopen the Titan Go application, select the authenticator, and import the license file. Click Import License, then click Browse, and locate the token file from the desktop. Now that the license has been verified, I can continue using the software.